Welcome to Final BDS Made Easy. I'm back with another seven marker question from Pediatric and Preventive Dentistry, which is define case history, discuss the points which are important for the child patient, and how it differs from that of an adult patient. Beginning with the definition of case history given by Malcolm Link. Case history is a planned professional conversation between patient and doctor, which enables the patient to express his symptoms, fears and feelings to the clinician so that the nature of patient's real or suspected illness and mental attitude may be determined. Important points for a child patient include demographic information like name, age, and gender. These are essential for identification and for age-specific treatment. Parental or guardian contact details. These are necessary for communication and consent. Second point is medical history. Birth and developmental history is important to identify any congenital conditions or developmental delays. Immunization status is crucial to ensure the child is protected against common infectious diseases. Previous illnesses and hospitalizations provides insight into the child's health background and potential impact on dental health. Medications and allergies help in avoiding adverse reactions and in planning safe treatment procedures. Third point is dental history. Previous dental visits and treatments. Understanding past experiences and treatments helps tailor current care. Oral hygiene practices. Assessing habits like brushing and flossing informs preventive strategies. Dietary habits identifies the risk factors for caries and other dental issues. The point is behavioral and psychological aspect. Behavior during previous medical or dental visits helps to predict cooperation and plan behavior management strategies. Fears and anxieties. Addressing specific fears can improve the child's experience and cooperation. Parental attitudes and expectations. Parental involvement is crucial for successful treatment and home care. Fifth point is social and family history. Family dynamics and living conditions affect the child's oral health and access to care. Parental education and socioeconomic status influences health literacy and their ability to maintain oral health. Differences from adult case history. First point of difference is communication. Children require simpler language and age appropriate explanations, often involves parents for history taking. In adults, there is direct communication with the patient, typically more detailed and comprehensive. Second point of difference is behavior management. In children, behavioral techniques like tell, show, do, positive reinforcement and distraction are essential. Adults are generally more cooperative and self-regulated. Behavior management is therefore less intensive. Third point of difference is medical and developmental history. In child patient, the history includes birth history, developmental milestones, and immunization status. In adults, the case history focuses on existing medical conditions, medications, and past surgeries. Fourth point of difference is parental involvement. For children, parents provide history, consent for treatment, and play a role in behavior management and post-treatment care. In adults, there is self-consent and responsibility for personal care and history provision. Fifth point of difference is psychological consideration. 
In children, there is high emphasis on managing fear and anxiety, making the environment child-friendly. Adults are typically more psychologically mature, with less focus on environmental modifications for comfort. Sixth point of difference is preventive focus. In children, there is strong emphasis on preventive care, including fluoride treatment, sealants, and education on oral hygiene. In adults, prevention is important, but often combined with managing existing conditions. Seventh point of difference is growth and development. In children, continuous monitoring of dental and facial development with periodic assessment for orthodontic needs is required. In adults, there is focus on maintaining existing structures and managing age-related changes. That's it. If you appreciate this video, do hit the like button and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for further videos.